Okay. All right, 636, we'll call the meeting to order. Uh, first agenda item is Um, so yes, so that's their what they're asking for. Okay, I don't I don't have any issue with it. Okay. So if somebody wants to make a motion to approve that, I'll that make works. a motion to approve that uh, one foot less brown water clearance on that sign. Mm -hmm. That's uh, seven ninety six Salem Street. No, that's, that's two Dana Drive. All right. For a second. And second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you, Rosemary, for helping those people. You're All right. So welcome. So I don't know if Jim's coming or not, but this one is, even so, Jim and I have gone round and round with this one. Um, it's part of the leaching area is in a zone two. So in order for it to be, uh, in order for the leaching area, it's supposed to be it's within a zone two, you have nitrogen reduction. So there it's a house you probably saw it on Salem the tree fell on the house mm -hmm. and it pretty much so they removed part of the house and only part of the house is still there originally it was a two-bedroom house title five says you can't design for a two-bedroom house unless you put in a deed restriction and you're supposed to design for a three-bedroom so if he designs for a three bedroom, so we went round and round, is this going to be new construction? If it's new construction, then it's a reserve area. And according to the Board of Health regulations, because it's in a zone two, it has to be designed for 150 gallons per day. So I would just ask that you continue it because we're trying to get come to some consensus as to how we can get this done and whether or not we'll do design for a three bedroom, but it will stay as a two bedroom, and then they won't need to put a reserve, or we're going to have to ask for a variance to be able to go with the um, Board of Health regulations. Yeah. So Jim wasn't sure if he was gonna come tonight or not, because we've been asking DEP for a ruling on this as well, um, because we have such conflicting information here. Are they going to take down the rest of the house? No, the rest of the house is going to stay. Okay. And then they're just adding on. The foundation is already Sorry. there because we yeah. did soil testing out there. So the foundation is in, but it's a question of whether it's two bedrooms or three bedrooms, bedrooms. Or, right. or because in the zone two, what the plan would be, the zone two is like pretty much is like right through the leaching area. And so that's the problem. You have nitrogen, we, or we have three things that we could do. We can just design for a three bedroom, but they're only gonna be able to have two. We can try to go with new construction um, or they can put in a nitrogen reduction system. If they design for a three bedroom, do we think down the road they're gonna say it's a three bedroom regardless? Well, they could. Yeah. So then, but what we could do is we could still have them put a deed restriction on for two bedrooms. Yeah. So, and we've done that before. There yeah. have been other ones that they had to put a deed restriction on because there was only two bedrooms. There was designed for two bedrooms. There are two bedrooms there. If you're doing a repair, even though you have to design for three, you still have to put a deed restriction for two. Okay. What so I mean, I'm you the most comfortable. I mean, I'm comfortable okay. continuing it if, if we're still going round and round on we are. what the what the status of the yep. property is. We haven't really so. come to a conclusion okay. as to what's the best thing that we can do. Like I said, he wanted to talk to the property owners to see, give them the three things and say, look, this is where we're at. So we can do one of these three things and um, or what see what they want to do. And so, there's no uh, town sewer there. I'm sorry. There's no town sewer. No, not that, not that part of Salem Street. It's it's <clears throat> down towards the end before Washington. I'm sorry, none of the, excuse yeah. me, none of the people that are residents of Butters are not on the Board of Health. It shouldn't be anything up to any, up to us and yeah. you and the septic design. Yeah. No, it's number not up one to concern, Number one concern I have, no way in H should that house be considered new construction by anybody that's mislabeling it, yeah. that's 
that's not right to do that to the developer, whoever owns the well, house. Well, they would have I to. I would be dead. No. They have to if that. they're adding on three bedrooms because it's an existing two bedroom, according to Title V, that it, triggers new construction. I don't think that's fair. Well, it's I'll, not, but it's a regulation. I'll say I have it's to not fair. But no, if they design it, choice. if they design it for a three bedroom, because a three bedroom will bring the person more money. And if they do the nitrogen thing with Jiggy Bay that you said that I don't understand, but that's why you're here and not me doing all that stuff. Those, those, those things, those are restrictions that I don't think are fair. There's not, it's not new construction. It's an existing house. And if there's a nitrogen thing that has to be satisfied, then let, design it for a four bedroom system, but it can only be allowed to be three. Well, that triggers a whole nother thing because- Well, that's you because have, you're here again, because I don't have know all that bedrooms, stuff. you have four bedrooms, you have to add with but a deed, two, you have to have but an a, acre. But a deed restriction would only can use three. I think so, these restrictions that the town, that changing the zoning the, laws, it's, it's the, state. the state. Well, I don't I have a choice. I don't like it. I, I don't like there's it. There's times I don't like it either, Jim, but right. I don't have a choice. But it's not, the Title V isn't, Title V can be it's not fair. molded, it can it can be flexible, but it's also very inflexible. So, right. Um, we do our best that we right. can for the people. You have, right. you have That's people that do. had a house crushed by a tree. Yeah, no, I hear I you. Know. how miserable I they are. And I'm now sure. we want to make them more miserable because they got to do this, that, and well, that. I think it's when they a, didn't have to think about any it's of this in before. An estate now. Yeah, but still. Yeah, still. But if they if they want to do, if they want to design it as a three, the town has to protect itself by saying, you're going to put a deed restriction on it to say it's a two bedroom because the flows into the system are going to be affected by that, and it can't have three bedrooms. The, the, and correct me if I'm wrong. You're better at Title Five than I am. The flows are going to they're going to be too great with three bedrooms. For what? For the system. The system's all going to get redone, isn't it? What yes, difference? That's what we're talking what, about. Dif what difference does it make? They're going to design the system so it can handle three bedrooms with the flow. That's all I'm trying to say. Make this more I, profitable for the person that's doing all I this. Mean, not restrict the daylights up. Well, I, right I was getting my miss. my ire was getting up when you were calling an old house new construction. It's not. Well, well, the system would be new construction. Okay. It would be a new I'm, system. My building, my building experience is getting in the way. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just a matter of you know continuing this until we yes. have a, yep. a determination from DMP of what and from what, Jim what the what the actual the owners market. want to do. Yeah. Right. So that's why. So do you, do you want to do you need to vote on it, or can we just say we're going to continue it? Can we just wait until we meet again? Well, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. We'll just continue it. So, yeah, if you want to take a vote, I think just to be mm -hmm. on the safe side. Just, Somebody want to make uh, a motion to continue until the next or until the applicant yeah, is ready? Yeah, or, or to the next board. Of I make meeting, a motion, whatever. excuse me, to continue until it's more clarified as to what's going to happen at 796 Salem Street. That suffices. Second, I second that. All in favor. Yep. Aye. 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 All right. Uh, review of minutes. Has everybody had a chance to read the minutes? Done by Larry. There's nothing mm -hmm. wrong. Anybody want to make a motion to approve the minutes? I make a motion to approve the minutes from last meeting. Do I have a second? I Do I have a second? Oh, I thought you... I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm rusty. I haven't been to a meeting. Well, I, I second uh, Rudy Ann's awesome decision. All in favor. Uh, all right. All right. Next up is health oh, agent update. You do well. Yes. It's, it's okay. Performing Definitely. very well. All right. They don't know what they did. So a couple of things. So we've um, these AG meetings are killing me. But um, <laughs> who's responsible for this? State. Has oh, all right. I I can't fight them for you. Every two weeks. They're having a meeting, so. But I, yesterday I went and picked up um, a lot of supplies that we had um, that they're granting to us. So the town now, or the board of health now has. So I got a bunch of stuff yesterday, um, some nursing supplies, some other stuff, um, thermometers. Um, I got um, an outlet tester because we don't have one. So yeah. I figured that's a good thing for housing that we need. Um, and 
couple of things that I asked for, they didn't have yet. So I sent them an email and asked them. I was looking for um, dishwasher thermometers and um, a noise meter and an air quality meter. And those weren't there when I was there. So I sent them an email and said those things were missing off of my list. Um, but but then we got um, sharp containers. We got a nice cooler, a rolling cooler. Um, some, um, what else? Uh, stethoscope, blood pressure cups. Um, so a bunch bunch of stuff for um, nursing. Um, so it, yeah, so it, it was pretty good. So I got that. So I'm waiting for the other stuff if we get um, the next round that we can get. So um, how long a time frame is that? Yeah, don't know. Don't know. How, still how, how urgent are the needs for those items that you didn't get when you went there? They're not. I wanted them for housing inspections um, because it's always a good thing to have. And even the um, are those items very expensive? Probably. They're not things that we can afford. That's why we're getting them through this grant. Um, and like the outlet tester, I think that's something that I can use now because a lot of times I have to go in when there's a pump system, I always have to check to make sure that there's two um, circuit breakers, one for the pump and one for the- You pump. don't have that? No, I just got it. Oh, you did get that? Yes, I did yeah. get that one. So it, there, <laughs> there's supplies that the town cannot afford. And so they don't well, have the money for us to do these things or to be able to obtain these things. So at least with this grant, I was able to um, get extra money for, or not extra money, but supplies that the Board of Health can use um, for, for nursing and for- Are you covered pay. by workman's comp by the town when you're working for the town in case you get hurt because you don't have the proper equipment to do your job? Excuse me. I'm, I'm, I'm going to say that anybody that's working for the town is covered by work. Yes, so, yes, we are. Um, so, and it, it, it's not just here; it's everywhere. Yeah, it's, they just places don't can't afford to buy, right. you know, certain equipment. As you know, outlet check testers, yep. sound meters, things like they're expensive pieces of equipment. So right, and they these don't grants are allowing us to do things right. that we have never been right. able to do in the past. Right. And I got a nice. Right. Um, right. Well, I don't want my people to be hurt. I got a nice bag, bag, bag too, so I'm going to put all of our supplies in it, so that then when you go out in the field, you'll have everything that you need in one right. bag. So, yep. but I got that too. So, um, so PHE meetings are ongoing. Um, there was I. Seven um, septic installs. One was Anita's. Thank um, you. <laughs> um, <That's> beautiful. <laughs> um, did um, there were a couple of soil testing, uh, four plan reviews. I did camp inspection for the camp down um, at the Bagnell, and um, then food inspections have been ongoing. Um, as far as the mosquitoes go, um, right now. Groveland is still at low for West Nile, but at moderate for um, AAA. So that was the latest that I have gotten from between Northeast Mosquito, HHAN, and DPH. So they're all Do we have positive three. pools in town or no. just we nearby? We haven't got any in Haverhill. town. Haverhill was the closest. Uh, Merrimack is actually um, there went up to moderate for Merrimack because I think the because of Haverhill. And yeah. Amesbury. Yeah, Amesbury is too. But um, the rest of us are all still at moderate for Triple E. Yeah. But low for West Nile. So anybody spraying then, around here? Yeah. When you well, it, you'll see yes, in your packet you'll see that um, I got a notice from well Mr. Rebecca Mr. sent it to me um, because the person I won't even go there. Um, well, I, I got the call yesterday afternoon, but I was on the other line, so the person had to leave a message. So um, then uh, Rebecca was contacted, and Rebecca contacted Rosemary about Pentucket. So they're looking to spray. It's almost the end of the year. Well, but this is the time of year when we get Tripoli and West Nile. It's, it, it is. It's August to September. So once, the, once we get a freeze, they'll be gone. But this is the time that every year is the same. Sports stuff. Uh, yeah. uh, so it's uh, football and uh, that are out there. So where are they going to spray? Are they just going to do around the, the school right. itself? I'm thinking the fields. Yeah. But just around the school. Yeah. Uh, it's what I heard from the letter. I mean, that's what I took in. But you can see if you're coming up with anything different. But that's what I understood it to be. 
they can't really spray anyplace else. They don't have the authority to do that. Right. They would have to notify. Actually, if they want to spray in Groveland, they have to notify the public health. That's yeah. what they have to do because we're paying for to for New England mosquito control. Rector has not family known he has not contacted us yet. No, he normally does when he thinks it's time for us to spray Groveland. Yeah, but is that another issue? They possibly couldn't get a hold of one of you and he, nope. Rebecca, no, nope. and Rebecca hasn't let us know. No, no, they would call the board. They they generally call the board of health directly. All right. right, and and I'm one of the commissioners. Oh, so I would get notice. Another hat on you. So that's when I get these. This is from the Northeast. That's what they send me yeah. once a week. I get a report. Uh, so the other thing I didn't know if you wanted to bring up, David, was about the drinking water. Yeah, I was going to bring it up towards the end. Okay, all right. Pass issue. Yes. So, um, I think that's all that I have. Um, I don't think I have anything else. The mosquitoes that we wanted to bring up. Have we had any update on the fees that people weren't paying? No, everybody's been pretty good about paying them. The only person that complained was um, across the street. I, I, the only one that complains. I it, went out to her and I never heard that. Yeah. So. But no, everybody else has been like, okay, fine. Yeah. And okay. So I haven't had a problem with anybody saying, you know, like, oh, that's, you know, from this one up or whatever happens. <laughs> I know. I know it does. But nope, everybody's, everybody else has been fine. She was the only one. So I think, you know, other than that, um, but. You know, it's it's just it's busy, but it's it's okay. We're getting stuff done. That's all I can say. So we try to do our best, and it's all we can do in the time that we have. Mm -hmm. Killing it. All right. Thank you. Yep. Thank you. Public health nurse update. Uh, good evening. Mm -hmm. Um, the routine infection disease uh, surveillance and reporting for July and August are complete, very low volume, very quiet, which I'm very appreciative of. Um, and um, I'm just going to mention it here. I wasn't sure if uh, Rosemary was going to address it. There's still a pretty uh, significant ongoing uh, listeria uh, case outbreak involved, probably involving Boar's Head, but it could be other things as well. So I would just think it's, especially with school starting and school lunches and, you know, packing kids' lunches, it's a killer not to be able to use cold cuts, you know. Yep. But if you do fry your ham and fry the bologna and fry salami, you can kill it. And it's so, so it makes it safer to eat. So if that's, that's just something I would recommend um, if people want to, you know, you could ignore it and take your chances or you can not eat it. cook your cook bologna it. hats and and uh, have some fun with Shall bologna. And, yeah. um, oh, it's my favorite. favorite know, brand. Oh my god, I love it. Um, what a rotten break for them. Oh, so um, it it is possible to eat cold cuts, but it, they're recommending that you heat the um, type of meat that you use uh, before uh, uh, imbibing it. Eat it. Um, how much? It's just I burn. I fry it. Just hot. Just fry it. All right, because I've never heard that. It, it loves cold, so, you know. Right. Yeah, I know. You never heard of fried bologna and stuff? Oh, I've heard of it, but I never heard that you had to get it up to a certain temperature. No, they don't think they, I don't think they would say that. money at the school, <laughs> bring home food and make it safe. Well, there's a the area outbreak. It's yeah. a bad idea. Yeah, it's, it can't hurt. Can't hurt. And it is delicious. The Virginia ham fried is. Oh, I had fried salami. Great. So, um. Uh, so that I just threw that in there because of it's, it's been a chronic uh, reminder in the food um, area, which I know she monitors. Um, and I certainly am in concert with her on um, on the um, the mosquito precautions. And I think what we can recommend is more appropriate clothing and sprays. You can do a lot for yourself in addition to perimeter spraying and things along those lines. Um, so I just uh, on website. I just want to reinforce it, and we do have it on our website. Yeah, I put it up for there. people with. Yeah. Thank you, ladies. Um, uh, the flu and COVID trends remain low, but very present. Um, like in in Groland, we're still seeing cases of influenza and cases of of COVID. Um, uh, not as much as the city see, but we see it. 
Um, and um, the COVID and influenza shots are available uh, in the pharmacies uh, now. Um, they finally got it out there. Yes, and the, from the COA, um, when you're doing a flu and- I'll get there. Yeah, okay. um, so um, the community is definitely urged to, I urge everybody to get vaccinated. It's, it's really an important thing to do. You're taking a lot of chances by not doing it. Um, the Board of Health and the Council on Aging are hosting um, the flu clinics. I had mentioned that the last time we met, but it wasn't quite firmed up yet. It is firm for um, October 3rd and October 10th at the Public Safety Building, and we backed it to 55 and over. Um, we will be offering um, flu and COVID available at, at these clinics, and they will since you pre-register on a designated uh, registration site that's on the website, like you can register for it. And as you tell what you want, the like if you needed shingles or you needed anything else, they will, depending on how many requests we get, we'll also uh, bring that other stuff along. So awesome. that's, that's a little plus. Um, we have it scheduled from 10 to one, but they'll stay as long as, as, long as they're customers. So, so there's no restriction there. And the fire department was, forward thinking enough to give us the whole day, to give us the room the whole day. So we won't we won't encounter any things there. So we're looking forward to um, a, a good turnout. I hope so. Um, the new respiratory dashboard is back up. It took a little hiatus and I, I was always glad, I'm glad to see that back. Um, and um, the only thing that really isn't active yet is the, um, the number of vaccination, the vaccine trends, yeah. but that's coming. Um, so um, that's, that's, um, uh, 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 I found it an extremely important site to have. The Board of Health is offering free test kits. Um, I got, I, I, I found some place where I could get them. Um, and so I put in for it, not knowing whether I'd get it. And sure enough, a big old box showed up. So um, they expire on 11, 16, 24, but they are available for anybody in the public that would like some. What kind did you get? Um, they weren't the eye health ones. No, they're not the eye health ones. No. And there's two two tests per box. Yeah. So, and um, but the council we're supposed to get more free ones in September, at the end of you, September. Oh, uh, you can, I know you, you can cool, uh, uh, go on the Feb has a site and you yeah. can get the IELTS ones I that tried, way too. I tried to, oh, you, yeah, the, you can do it through the government. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. right, right. I tried to order those ones that you guys got and I never got a response. Yeah, uh, I wasn't sure what was gonna happen. You, di you didn't get any recognition that the, even the order form was right. Yeah. And it was it just disappeared. Yeah. So I went, oh, I hope I did it right. Not a um, bother at this point. Um, I personally have been watching very carefully the outcome of the Seward issue um, in um, Havel and um, yeah. when, um, and very relieved that um, the campuses are going to be in the good hands of Lawrence General, um, in my opinion. Um, and um, that goes along with the fact that um, um, I'm upgrading the emergency dispense site stuff that has is really behind yep. the other thing. And um, I'm working with Chief Gillen on that to add it updated to the comprehensive emergency plan that he just put in a draft form for everybody to look at, for okay. people, certain people to look at. Where, um, what, are, is, what is our dispensing site? The sec we're a secondary dispense site and it would be the Bagnall. Okay. Excellent. And ours existed and we had a mutual uh, agreement with them um, back back before the new edition got put on. So there needs to be some juggling around because some of the yeah. rooms don't exist anymore right, right. on the little map. Yeah, and it's so, probably more conducive now that that yeah. giant room is added on. And Yeah, uh, and the uh, traffic control just needs to be revised a little yeah. bit. And just, there's just fine tuning stuff we already had. Yep. So um, Chief Gill and I will get together with the draft and um, submit that as Thank part you. of the package. Very good. Um, what else? What else? What else? Is there anything? Any uh, everything from the last meeting? We the website's been updated. Um, the the needle collection is got, is really a get a robust response. Good. We're getting a good response Absolutely. with that, and um, and the flu clinics are set. So um, we're hoping good turn for good October, yeah. good fall. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um. The administrative assistant trash contract administrative job description has been posted, I think. I did yes. send it to Rebecca for posting. It, it is. It's on our website and it's on MMA. Okay. 
Um, Maury's sadly last day is October 3rd. Um, I'd like to do a meeting if we can before that. Uh, recognize Laurie for ser service of time here and, um, you know, say goodbye. So sometime before October 3rd, if we could, or what's October 3rd? Is, that's it's probably, a Thursday. Is it? I think yeah. it's a Tuesday, actually. I have a board meeting October 10th, and that's a two. October 3rd is a Thursday. We could it do is a time. Thursday. We could do the 26th, which is the week before. Yes. We'll do that. Please. Okay. Yep, that's fine. Doesn't have to be a large agenda. Um, so the only other thing that I was going to mention was the notification that I think most, if not all, people in town received about the... Uh, PFAS exceedance in the drinking water. Did you get that? Yeah, I don't understand what that is. I did not get it. We, we go well. Okay, so, so yeah, yeah if you're not on the um, everybody with well water didn't get it. Far so know, didn't get it. PFAS is um, they're called forever chemicals, and Ooh. they can't be cooked out of the water. They can't you, you can't get rid of them. You you can't boil them. You can't freeze them. Uh, so they exist no matter what. And it's recommended if you're in a high risk group, you know, children, the elderly, immunocompromised, you don't drink or cook with the water. Um, I think that, you know, they're not good chemicals. So nobody should really be drinking the water or cooking with the water. Um, I reverted back to bottled water. And I, I think it's kind of a shame, honestly, we're trying to reduce the amount of waste that's going in the waste stream here. And um, now my family is adding more plastic into the waste stream. So well, uh, I would put the chemicals in the Well, stuff. absolutely. So absolutely. what does this mean for all the restaurants in town and the school? Uh, that's a good question. Um, I I don't know, to be honest with you. Um, and do we still shower and brush our teeth? Yeah, absolutely. And there's, I, I don't know what the science says about, you know, I don't know that they can be absorbed through the skin, but this the the science is still kind of sketchy on it. I, I, when I was researching it, I didn't see that, but yeah, like you say, I mean these these chemicals have been in the water for a long time, and right. now all of a sudden it's they decided that we need to make sure that they're not there anymore. So yeah, yeah. so we've or already at least been not in the level. Them. Yeah, and they and the level was inched up just a hair, which caught them caught us yeah right. so that's why they're talking about water but it's but that it was it, plant plant the yeah water. but it was a it's an average because the first time it came in at 16 and the second time it came in at 20 so they average it off and they said okay so they're supposed to do another one this month, month okay, right to check it again but so i don't know if that one shows us as 20 again then yeah they're now they're going to have to really move to do something well so, you know they're talking about either buying Buying water from Haverhill, which yep. I think in the in, in the short term is probably what they should do, as long as the water in Haverhill is is okay. But I mean, if they're talking about building a water treatment facility, that's years out. That's right. that's not going to solve the problem immediately. And um, I I wanted to go to the board of selectmen meeting last night to 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 inquire from them as to what's going on, but I wasn't able to get there. So I don't know if anybody else went and addressed them. I haven't had a chance to watch that meeting, so I don't know if it was mentioned last night or not. So, um, probably, probably. Yeah, you know, know, I don't know where it goes from here. Here, I will follow up with Rebecca and find out what the status is. Yep. So, so all you, right. You I'll just wait for the next um, water test and see what happens. Do we know when they draw that water test? The, the state will mandate them to. Yeah. Do it. Oh, I mean, they, they have to do it. I think I, on that form it said September, didn't it? I yeah, it but when in when this month will they do it? Is it the beginning of the month, the end of the month? Yeah, it doesn't say. Did it say what when they drew the last two tests approximately? July was seven ten, August was eight one, and then September it says not yet taken. So it'll probably be sometime in the next week or so. I would think. Yeah. But yeah. Hopefully we'll get the the results quickly. Um, you can get filters, you know, on your point of use 
on your faucets that will filter off pretty fast. Water. Yeah. Well, you yeah. said, I thought I heard you say you can't you filter can't, it out. No, you, you can't, can't, no. can't cook it out. You can't, you can't boil it. it you can't freeze, freeze it, but it, it can be filtered out. Right. Oh, yeah. uh, all right. Yeah. Good. That makes me feel a little bit. So, it does say that boiling it, though, actually increases. It is, yeah. The, it can release other chemicals. Yeah. It, it, so. yeah. Changes yeah. the nature of things. Yeah. So, um, you know, and the, the chemicals are they're hazardous. They're, it's not like they're good for you. You know, they are carcinogenic and they can cause cancer and they can cause other health issues. So people should be aware of that. So that's that. Um, the only other thing I wanted to inquire about, Anita, was did you see the email from Kathy Castronellis about the students from um, Whittier in the CNA training class or something, I think? She sent, uh, she sent it to you and I. I checked my email before it came in. I didn't see any. What's it about? She said that Dr. Beverly Stickles is in charge of the medical assisting shop at Whittier. And I believe she has students who would be technically qualified to assist at flu clinics and wanted to know if there might be some way that they could help. So uh, technically how that's I don't know. And I think probably not because it's run by Rite Aid and it's their I mean, legal team would that's what the email probably said. not appreciate that. I mean, I don't know if this, you know, if they can come in and well maybe direct they could traffic right, exactly. or this it came in this afternoon some at some point. Oh, I wonder if she sent it on my uh Roland, thank you. Probably we went to the <laughs> Roland email. Um, um, you know, but if the yeah, they could direct traffic or just like kind of you know, oh. right, tell people to, or once they've gotten their shots, do you want to sit down or something yeah. to wait for a minute? So have them sit, you know, so they could direct them to do that kind of stuff, I'm sure. All right, I got a, I just need to have a couple of questions on what technically qualified to Yeah, I mean, this. I'm going to leave that in your, I'm not going to. Yeah. If if you're not comfortable because with it, it's fine. You know, if somebody if people come in and they don't, I don't think they're qualified. Had to help with that. Yeah, yeah. there you go. Yeah. Uh -huh. I don't think they're qualified to actually administer vaccine. Yeah, no. <laughs> um, do they want to sit and watch somebody administer a vaccine if that's okay with the patient? You know, yeah. maybe, but um, or to check people off as they, they come, come in. in. You yeah, know, stuff like that. I'm sure that's probably what they're looking for. Book appointments, for. like you said, if they can't register just, at home, yeah. they want to register. Just to get them out right, there. I'll, I'll follow I, up on this. Yeah. I think it's a good idea if if uh, you're gonna, uh, I work that into. I've learned by watching. Yeah, I think I think they probably just you know, want them to get we, the experience of being out there. Yeah, we don't use high school students. We generally use nursing students that are under the auspice of a nursing professor, um, and. I had a master's uh, student um, with me for a day. Yeah. Um, uh, that's, that's, I'm comfortable with that. Yeah. And, you know, the nursing students generally do vaccinate because it's part of their clinical rotation. They, so they finished that part of their coursework. Correct. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, but Whittier is high school. Yeah, exactly. And I don't know that they're getting any sort of, excuse me, training in that. So, it might be good with a computer, like yeah, though. yeah. So I'll leave that in your capable okay. hands. I'm not gonna step on any toes there. All I'll right. To mention it just in case. All right, I'll deal with it Monday. All right, very good. Um, I don't have anything else unless any other board member has anything else they want to raise. Uh, then I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. I uh, like the second. Uh, I'd like to make a motion to adjourn the meeting. Do I have a second? Back. All in favor. Aye. 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 Oh, it is 7 12. Oh, there it is. Good one. Uh -oh.